Hello everyone and welcome back for some more Drag Race gossip, secrets and drama. So I decided to make this video about Trinity the Tuck because there have been lots of comments about her and the drama surrounding her and because she'll soon be appearing on All Stars 7, the All Winners season, I thought now would be a good time to do a deep dive into the drama and explain some of it for anyone that is unfamiliar with it. Please note that I will just be giving an unbiased overview of the timeline of events and you can then draw your own conclusions. So let me know in the comments what you think about the Trinity the Tuck situation. Please make sure you hit subscribe and ring the bell to be notified for my future videos. So as you know, Trinity the Tuck appeared on season 9 and also All Stars 4 and originally was under the name Trinity Taylor, but then changed it during All Stars to Trinity the Tuck. And since Trinity's time on Drag Race, there have been several controversies and drama associated with Trinity, so I'm going to explain them now. COVID performances. So the drama all started for Trinity in around January of 2021 when she posted photos of a performance that she did at a bar where she wasn't wearing a mask. And she has since deleted these photos so I can't show you them. And this performance was during the height of the COVID-19 pandemic, so lots of people on her Twitter started commenting and criticising Trinity for continuing to do live shows in person and not wearing a mask. And this has also happened to several other queens from Drag Race, not just Trinity, but this drama looked like it was going to blow over to do with Trinity, but it kind of then led into other things. Trinity then posted um, a slightly long Twitter post in which she basically said that people should shut the F up about her doing what she has to do to survive and then she goes on to say that unfortunately her job requires her to be in close proximity to other people and she tries her best to follow the guidelines and things like that and then she also sort of compared her job to being no different to a server in a restaurant or in retail or at the grocery store. And around that time Trinity also changed her name on Twitter to Trinity the Block because she started blocking so many people because of all the comments she was getting. It was also around that time that lots of people started unfollowing Trinity on social media such as Instagram and according to this graphic which was posted on Reddit, Trinity lost over 2,500 followers in one day on Instagram and continued to lose followers over the coming days. And the tweet that Trinity did where she told people to shut the F up caused a lot of negative comments, including from other drag race queens, such as her fellow season 9 contestant, Pharamone. Farrah replied to Trinity's tweet saying, quote, Being a nightlife entertainer is not an essential job. None of us can pay our bills right now. It is so unimaginably selfish to put people's health at risk for a gig when literally everyone's trying to do their part and hospitals are starting to overfill, but whatever, lol. And then what came after that was a bit of sort of backwards and forwards between Trinity and Farrah on um, Twitter. And Trinity was saying that she basically needed to work in order to make money to avoid her house going into foreclosure. And Farrah responded and said that Trinity didn't need the money and she kind of said that Trinity was just using that as an excuse. And this exchange ended with Trinity saying to Farrah, quote, you do not know my situation girl, how dare you? After that, Farrah tweeted saying that Trinity had blocked her. And uh, another queen also chimed in on the situation, which was Britta from season 12. And although she didn't make it explicitly clear that she was talking about the Trinity situation, it was implied because they kind of happened at the, around the same time. Britta posted a video story on her Instagram where she said that if you know that you have a show and people are going to get COVID because they come to your show, then you have, quote, blood on your hands. Britta then went on to say that if you really need to do shows to make money, you should do a digital show. And that kind of seemed to be the end of that particular drama. But then what came after that was the main event of the drama. She Devil by Night. 
So I have spoken about this briefly in a previous video, but the main controversy and scandal that has been associated with Trinity is the She Devil by Night scandal. To give you a quick explanation in case you are unaware, Trinity has been accused by fans online of creating a Reddit account under the username SheDevilByNight, which has posted several controversial and problematic comments on Reddit. So I'll give you a rundown of exactly what happened because it's a slightly long and complicated story, so I will just give you all of the events as they happened using the information that I have. The account She Devil By Night was a Reddit account that has since been deleted. However, the posts can still be seen. The account mainly posted in the RuPaul's Drag Race subreddit, as well as a few other subreddits related to RuPaul's Drag Race. And some of the comments included thirsty comments um, responding to other queens, um, for example, calling Milk Daddy, also responding to um, Frisbee Jenkins, previously known as Sasha Bell in season seven, as well as Tatiana. And these posts were not seen as problematic necessarily, they were just more thirsty. However, the real issues came from comments made by She Devil By Night that were critical of other queens. For example, one comment in response to a comment about Gia Gunn being robbed of a win in the All Stars 4 talent show. She Devil By Night posted saying, quote, Move on, Gia spun a fan and threw confetti. I thought Manila's was way more entertaining. There were also several comments that defended Trinity about a wide range of things. For example, there was one post that said that Monet celebrates black excellence. And in response, She Devil By Night said, quote, Well, maybe here in delusional Reddit land, but Trinity dominated all the online polls by over double. Naomi came in second in most, so your opinions are not fact. Poll numbers are fact. Lol. And there was another post that was talking about Monique's performance in episode one of All Stars. And She Devil By Night said, quote, Not every song is meant to be throwing yourself all around the stage spastic-like. And people obviously had a problem with the word spastic being used. But the reason that the fans started to believe that Trinity was actually the owner of this She Devil By Night account is because the account always seemed to defend Trinity in a lot of the Reddit posts and also seemed to know a lot about Trinity. For example, in a post where someone commented that Trinity was wearing rat-shaped earrings in her All Stars entrance look, She Devil By Night said, quote, her legal name on Facebook is Ryan Ashton Taylor, maybe an inside thing with her initials. The She Devil By Night account also defended Trinity after she was accused of transphobic language. And in one post on Reddit, She Devil By Night said, quote, I disagree. I'm trans and I wasn't offended. What she said could have been worded much better, but was not transphobic. The She Devil By Night account also frequently used black woman emojis and people said that if Trinity really is the owner of this account then that would be inappropriate to use a black woman emoji given that Trinity is not black. Trinity responds. Because of all the reasons that I mentioned earlier, there was a lot of speculation and chatter online that Trinity was the owner of this She Devil By Night Reddit account. So, in early January of 2021, a Twitter user tweeted Trinity and asked if this was her account. And Trinity then responded saying, quote, Oh yes, I'm still on Reddit. And this was kind of taken at the time as Trinity admitting that she indeed was the owner of this She Devil By Night account. This then prompted a lot of negative comments towards Trinity. And the next day, the Reddit account She Devil By Night was deleted and Trinity removed the words block from her Twitter. It should be noted, however, that this could be a coincidence as none of this is proven. But Trinity then deleted the feud posts that happened between her and Farah, and some online users also said that Trinity was deliberately retweeting lots of things on her Twitter page to try and drown out her Twitter feed. And then in the days that followed, Twitter blew up about all of this She Devil By Night drama, and there were lots of high profile people started tweeting about it. For example, Meatball, who was a contestant on season one of Dragula, 
tweeted at Trinity asking if she was She Devil by Night. Jeremy Carey, who was previously known as Fifi O'Hara, also tweeted a gif in response to a, a tweet about this drama, implying that Jeremy was confused by all of the drama. And then lots of comments um, happened when Bob the Drag Queen tweeted saying that She Devil by Night was one of Bob's top picks for season 14. And lots of other RuPaul's Drag Race queens responded to Bob's tweet, including Pheromone, Plastique Tiara, Detox, and Monet Exchange, among others. And this then just sort of added to the drama and all the people were kind of talking about this, not necessarily directly to Trinity, but it was just talking about it everywhere, including within the RuPaul's Drag Race fan base. Later on the 12th of January 2021, Trinity responded to a Twitter user who had asked if she was She Devil by Night, and Trinity replied saying, quote, People will make up and believe anything. Trinity also posted a longer statement via an Instagram story where she denied the allegations. Trinity said that the Reddit drama was, quote, made up and false, and then she then went on to call Reddit trash. Trinity also said that she would block people who spread these rumours. And that's where the drama sort of ends. There hasn't really been any other developments as far as I know, but people have continued to make references and jokes about this She Devil by Night drama. For example, Bob and Monet were joking about the situation on their podcast. Bob made a comment and quoted She Devil by Night, and then Monet asked, quote, should we have She Devil by Night as a guest on the podcast? So it will be kind of interesting to see if these jokes have affected Monet and Trinity's relationship, given that they will both be shortly appearing on All Stars 7. So there you go, there was an overview of the drama surrounding Trinity the Tuck. And I've tried to be as unbiased as possible and just give you the facts so that you can make your own decisions. As I said before, it's never been confirmed or proven whether Trinity did own the She Devil by Night Reddit account. Um, it's all just a rumour at this point. So please don't send any negativity towards Trinity or anyone else in this video. However, I do think it's interesting and useful to have this background information about the queens and you can all then form your own opinions about it. Let me know in the comments what you think about this situation involving Trinity the Tuck. As usual, please make sure you like, comment and subscribe to this channel if you liked this video. Currently less than 7% of people watching are actually subscribed to my channel, which makes me so sad, so please, please just subscribe to my channel and ring the bell to get notified for my future videos. Thank you for watching and I hope you'll join me again in the future. Thank you, bye!